Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today we'll be talking about themes and how to customize the look and feel of Reaper. Something that I see mentioned a lot, particularly among newcomers to Reaper, is that they don't particularly care for the default theme in Reaper. People that come from Pro Tools tend to want something that looks like Pro Tools. People that have switched over from Cubase tend to want something that looks like Cubase. I do like the default theme in Reaper myself, but Reaper also gives users the ability to create their own themes and share them with other people. Today I'll show you where to get Reaper themes and also how to install and use them. Let's take a look. We'll start by going to the Reaper website, which is reaper.fm. There's plenty of themes available under the resources page, but I prefer to start in the forum. Click on forum and scroll down to Reaper color themes and icon sets. There's a new theme that I've been trying out lately called My Taste. Let's find the My Taste theme and install it. From the color themes and icon set page, I'll scroll down until I see My Taste. As I said earlier, I prefer to look at the themes on the forum instead of in the resources page because I can take a look at other people's comments about the themes as well as keep up with development progress. This theme was recently updated to add some additional color options that I like. I'll scroll down on the page to look for the download link. I can see here that there's a regular version as well as a light version, and I can also click these thumbnails to see the additional developments that have been made with the color options. One of the complaints that I had about the default one was that the colors were not saturated enough, and I can see that he's added the option for a more colorful display. We'll go back to the forum and download the theme. This takes me to the stash where I can download the theme which is a zip file. Themes are often distributed as zip files. You'll need something to decompress the zip file. Windows and Mac both have file decompression utilities built in, but I prefer to use something that gives me more options. I like to use 7-Zip, and I'll show you why in a moment. If you don't have 7-Zip installed but would like to install that so you can follow along, you can download it freely at 7-zip.org. I won't go through the installation process since I've already got this installed, but download the version that matches your architecture, either 32-bit or 64-bit, run the installer, and follow the steps to complete the installation. Now that I've got the theme file downloaded, let's go to the desktop and take a look. Here we can see the zip file, and if I double-click that to open it in 7-zip, it shows me the contents of that file. I can highlight these files and drag them where I'd like to extract them, or I can click the Extract button. A faster way is to simply right-click the file and choose 7-zip, Extract here. I now have the My Taste Reaper theme file and this customization folder that gives me some instructions for additional steps. Let's open this folder and take a look. This folder contains some additional steps and tools needed to utilize the other color options that were mentioned in the forum, but for right now let's just install the default theme and see how it looks. There are a couple of different ways you can do this. You can double click the theme file and it will apply itself in Reaper, or if you have Reaper already open you can drag it into the interface and it will apply the theme. Let's try double clicking. I'll open my last project, and I can see that that theme has been applied. Go to Options, Themes, and we can see My Taste has been applied. Here's the default Reaper 6 theme, and let's go back to My Taste. As I said before, one of the complaints that I had about this theme was that the colors are not as saturated as I'd like them to be, particularly if you compare them to the saturation that's available in the default Reaper 6 theme. Let's check the instructions in that folder and see how to apply the more saturated color scheme. I'll close Reaper. One thing that I need to mention for Windows 10 users is that Windows by default does not show you the file extensions. You can see this text file here has the .txt file extension. You may not have that on your system, it most likely will just say my taste default RT config. You'll need to be able to see the file extensions to perform these next steps. To do that, click on view, and over to the right in the show hide menu, be sure to place a check mark on file name extensions. If I uncheck that, the .txt extension is gone. It's still there, we just can't see it. We'll place the check mark back on file name extension so we can see and change the file extension. Since I'd like to use the color options, let's take a look inside this color tint track mixer item folder. And there's instructions inside. I'll double click that to open. Our instructions tell us to rename mytaste.reaperthemezip to mytaste.reaperthemezip.zip. Adding .zip to that file simply allows you to open it in your file decompression utility such as 7-zip. I'll go to the My Taste theme file. You can right click and choose rename or just press F2, go to the end of the file name and add .zip. You'll get a warning dialog that tells you if you change a file name extension the file might become unusable. Confirm that you want to change it and the icon changes to show that 7-zip can now handle this file. The instructions tell us to unpack the theme, but one of the benefits of 7-zip is that you can add files to an archive without unpacking it. Double-click the theme file to open it in 7-zip, then we can follow the rest of the instructions that tells us to copy the files from the folder you wish to use to the My Taste Unpacked folders. Let's minimize the notepad and go to the folder. I'd like more colorful. 
In here we see a couple of different folders and some files, and these files and folders will replace what's inside of the unpacked folder. Double click My Taste Unpacked inside of 7-Zip, and we can see those corresponding folders and file names. Highlight the contents inside of More Colorful, and drag them into 7-Zip to overwrite the current contents. We'll get a dialog from 7-Zip asking us to confirm that we want to overwrite the existing files. Click Yes. Now that the files are overwritten, close 7-Zip and we'll remove the .zip file extension to restore this to a Reaper theme file. Confirm the change. Double click the file. We'll open that same project again. And once Reaper opens, we can see that these colors are much more vibrant than they were previously. I like that a lot better. Most of your themes can be applied with a simple double click, but there are several that have additional options that may have instructions like this that you need to follow. 7-Zip is very helpful for unpacking a Reaper theme and making the necessary modifications. There's plenty of user-created themes to help you to get the look and feel that you like. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell as well so you can know the moment that a new video drops on the channel. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee.